Hey everyone, this is Steve from TaxoPress. Thanks so much for your interest in this plugin. I'm going to give you a quick introduction to what it does. Basically, we designed this plugin to help you organize and optimize all of the tags, categories, product categories, and all the other taxonomies that you have floating around your site. This plugin is completely free to use, and I'm only going to illustrate the free versions in this video. If you install TaxoPress, you're going to see a new TaxoPress menu on the left-hand side of your site with all these different options. The first one is called Taxonomies, and it has a list of all the taxonomies on your site. By default, this is going to be Categories, Media Tags, which is a feature we add, and Tags. But if you add other plugins, you may well see other taxonomies here as well. On the right hand side, you can see how many are in use. On this particular site, we have nine different categories that are added. If you click Edit, then you can control some of the key features for each taxonomy. For example, you can change the name if you want to. I'm going to call this Taxopress Categories and Taxopress Category for the single option. So the name can change if you don't like the name Categories. And this checkbox here allows you to decide whether your content is organized into a hierarchy. So one example might be sports. That's at the top of the hierarchy and underneath you might have tennis, golf, swimming. Otherwise, if you uncheck this box, all of the terms are going to be at the same level. So on this first screen, you have some key options. And then on the post types tab, you have something that a lot of people find useful. You can add your taxonomy to more than one post type. One of the most common reasons that people use TaxoPress is to add categories and tags to other post types. It's really as simple as that. You can click the box for pages. And then if you want to show pages on the main archive page for categories, then check this box as well. So now if I hover over the pages tab, categories is available. And I can add categories to any of my pages and they will show on the front of the site. Let me show you a quick example. We have some categories set up, books, entertainments, hobbies, and sports. And on the pages screen, if I edit a page, I now have the option of all these categories. So on the main TaxoPress taxonomy screen, you can change some of the key features about all of your taxonomies. We've described the first two tabs, but there are other useful features in here, such as being able to change the permalink or the URL, being able to control where the taxonomy appears in the admin area, and also controlling what people click on when they visit different parts of the taxonomy in the admin area of your site. A little further down the screen, you have the terms area. And this is one screen where you can see all the terms on your site. Doesn't matter if it's a tag, a category, a product category, if it's in whatever plugin you have. If it's a taxonomy term, it will appear on this particular screen here. After that, we have all sorts of different ways in which you can display the content on your site. For example, terms display, this allows you to create a display of all the terms you have in one particular taxonomy. So in this example, the default is across all post types and it is tags. I'm gonna change that to categories. I'm going to use this as a display of all the categories on my site. There's a little short code here that I can pick up. And if I go to posts, and if I drop this into the post that I'm writing as a shortcode, 
Let's see what it looks like on the front of the site. There we go. We have all the different categories here. The default is a cloud, and these are being shown according to how often they're used. If you hover over, you can see how often each of these terms, each of these categories, is associated with a particular post. The next one down is current post. Current post is really similar, but it allows you to show only the terms which are associated with the post that you're looking at right now. So again, I'm going to customize it slightly by changing the taxonomy from tags to categories. I'll go to posts and I have this particular post here about the Wimbledon tennis tournament. And my categories for this one are going to be sports and tennis. So with the first example, the first shortcode that we saw, it was terms display. This time, instead of seeing all the categories, we're simply going to see the categories for this particular post that I've chosen here. And there we go. So this is the current post option. And for both, terms display and current post, there are all sorts of options. You can change the color, you can change the ordering, you can change the size, you can add CSS, you can change the formatting. Dig down into there and you'll find all sorts of cool features. Related posts does almost the same thing as the first two short codes, but this short code will show you posts which have the same terms. And the more terms the posts have in common, the more likely it is other posts are going to show in that particular area. So this is the kind of thing you see at the end of posts in order to get people to click on to the next screen to click on to the next post. So what I'm going to be seeing with related posts is a list of all the different posts that have the same term as Wimbledon Tennis Tournament. Let me think, why did that not work? No related posts. Let me go back. Related posts. And I have it set up for tags. That's a mistake because I've been using categories. So let's see if making that change allows the related posts area to work in this particular example. There we go. We have dummy content in here. But this is a list of posts which have sports and perhaps tennis as the terms that have been assigned to them. There we go. This post has both sports and tennis, which is why it appeared in the related posts area. Moving on. TaxoPress has an auto links area. This allows you to automatically add links from the tags or the terms if they appear in your content and they link to the archive page for that. So if you set this up for categories and post types is going to be posts. If you set this up for categories, every time WordPress scans your content and finds a category, such as tennis or sports in your text, it will link to it. So here's an example, a little bit of text. So automatically, this auto links feature has added a link to tennis and to sports because these are terms on my site and I've added the auto links feature for them. A little bit similar in terms of the name, but perhaps even more useful is the auto terms feature. What this does is it will scan your site and it will automatically assign relevant terms. 
There are two different approaches you can take with auto terms. Either auto terms can scan your content and add existing terms that are relevant, or it can scan your content and add completely new terms that are taken from your content. If I edit this, I'm going to change tags to categories again, and I'm going to assign this to posts. And taking a look at the options, I have as a sources option, existing taxonomy terms. So any taxonomy terms that appear in my content will be automatically assigned to the post. If I get the pro version, then I can use one or two other language tools to scan my content and automatically add new terms. In this case, I'm just gonna click save and I'm going to use the existing content tab here to scan my content. Now, during a quick break in the video, I went into this Wimbledon tennis post and added some text and also removed the categories. So we have lots of mentions of tennis and sports in this article. What should happen is if I run this and add terms to existing content, it should scan our content and automatically find and add both sports and tennis. Let's see if it works. Okay, it's checking the posts. And if I go to the post now, it's thinking, and there we go. Both sports and tennis have been found in the content. There we go. And the auto terms feature has automatically assigned it. So auto terms is really useful if you're adding a lot of content and you want to automatically assign the correct taxonomy terms to your content. Then down at the bottom, we have another couple of cool features in taxo terms. Suggest term is responsible for the boxes underneath your content as you write. So I'm going to change this to load categories and apply it to posts. And if I refresh my Wimbledon post, let's see what it does. So these are the boxes underneath. Okay, so it scanned my content and suggested both sports and tennis. I wonder what happens if I type golf, for example, and then hit refresh. Ah, it's automatically suggesting terms that I can add to my content. If I decide I want to add them, I click on them and they are automatically added as a category over here. And if I do have a lot of terms on my site, then I can automatically scan and search through them. This allows you to browse through different taxonomies, allows you to search for terms, allows you to search them in different ways. If you have a busy site, this show existing terms box will end up really busy. And just as with the other automatic terms box, if you click on any of the items, they are automatically assigned to this post. So that is suggest terms. Finally, we have two extra features in TaxoPress which helps you to manage and update the content on your site. You can easily add and remove terms. This is the mass edit terms page. You can browse through all your posts or pages, whatever content you have on your site, and you can add or remove terms from any post or page simply from this big overarching screen here. And then finally, under Manage Terms, we have some useful tools to add, rename, merge, remove, delete, or even delete unused terms. So as you can see, TaxoPress really is a very wide ranging and powerful tool to manage all the taxonomy terms on your site. I hope you give it a try. And if you have any questions, head over to taxopress.com and we'll be happy to help.